Hey, what's up, everyone? How's it going? Today's pod will be Serrano. So you green one? Well, uh, these were grown by me personally. I have a plant that's in a container, and the plant probably roughly about four feet tall, three, four feet tall, and the container size is, I'd say, roughly like three plus gallons size, and the heat level on the Serrano's are supposed to be around 23,000 or so. That's what they're supposed to be at anyway. Or rated as. And. Yeah. Uh, Serrano's are nice peppers, but they uh I mean, Serrano's are nice. They got more of a. A jalapeno type of crunch, but they're definitely not uh, jalapenos, they're more slender. Go ahead and slice this one open. Yeah, let's have placental tissue. All down the center. Smells slightly fruity. More like a mild than pe pepper should. And there's a thicker wall. Not super thick. And They are good peppers to have or to add to the garden if you like um, like some heat but not some really high and they're not a bad flavor when they're ripe a lot of people eat them when they're green but I'm one of the types that prefers most peppers when in their full ripen stage because it gives a more full flavor rather than the bland green kind of leafy taste and yeah I'll just go ahead and get in this pot now alright Dude, the cavity on these won't leave a whole lot of room for them. They say you want to stuff anything right into it. Good. Now with this type of pepper there is a fair amount of seeds in them. Most milder uh, peppers tend to have more seeds in them as compared to like ultra hots or something or super hots. Uh, it's got a crisp, just crisper, crunchier. Has a certain kind of uh, 
flavor that goes around with Serrano's. There's a, a slight warmth or feeling where I can tell there's a, um, some spice or some heat there. But for me, this isn't have like a strong punching kind of uh, spice or heat. I can feel the warmth kicking in on the roof of my mouth. A little bit on the tongue. Sorry if it looks like I'm looking a lot, but there's a seat I'm just trying to get out of the inside of my mouth. Cheeks right here. But other than that, as I mentioned, there's a, a slight um, fruitiness to it, but other besides that, there's not a whole lot to say. But when, excuse me, pepper burp. But I know when peppers are fully ripened, they have a certain flavor as opposed to when they're green. See, they almost have a green flavor or taste to them, but even though green represents a color, um, almost has a grassy plant, like plant matter type of taste to it. Now the heat, there's you know, be our next level kind of heat. See, when they're in the green stage, you get more just uh, just uh, warmth or the, the the taste of of something that's supposed to be spicy without the actual full flavor of the serrano. See lots of seeds. Where? Yeah. Where? I prefer them more ripened. Has a better flavor to me. Lots of seeds, but it doesn't take away from the pepper itself to me. But that's me. I know others. They see seeds in the way. I I don't let that get in the way for me. But oh no, nice pepper. Good one to have around. You cut up crunch on here or there and oh, excuse me yeah but that's one to cut up to put in a in what you're in one of your grilling or whatever um, but all right I don't see this getting too uh, too crazy but still feel some warmth in the mouth um, And yeah, well, the Serrano. But if any guy, anybody has any questions or comments, section below. Please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, keep it spicy. Peace out. Later.